Is 2024 gonna be the year to capitalize on the sale of your home? Is there gonna be opportunities for you to buy? Hey everyone, I'm Bob Safaya. I'm the team leader of the New Home Collective and together we've sold close to 2,000 homes. We have over 900 five-star Google reviews. Today, I'm gonna go over some of the numbers from December of 2023 and I'm gonna give you my predictions for the first quarter of 2024. So let's get to it. Um, I break this down in two different ways. I take the entire MLS, the Bluegrass Realtors MLS, and on the next video, I'll tell you how many uh, counties that covers. I should know that now. The things that stood out to me was the pending sales. So um, as far as the Lexington, uh, Fayette County, the pending sales went up 5% in December. So they went from 211 to 222 pending sales. Another number that's important, I think, is the average sales price, it went from 364 to 365. I mean, that's only 0.1%, but it's a green number. And we've seen so many red numbers, not in the values, but more in uh, the pending sales and uh, what's hitting the market. So I thought that was really interesting. Overall for the year, so, so to give you some context, overall for the year, the pending sales 2023, they went down 17%. So in 2022, for the entire year, there were 4,264 in Fayette County. And in 2023, there was 35, 37. So they went down 17%. So to see that green number up 5% in December, that's a big deal. Let's take the entire market. In the entire market, uh, man, these numbers are really interesting. So the pending sales for our entire market went up from 746 to 857. So that's up 14.9% in December. So what that's saying is, is that people are starting to get back in the market. We were almost on a freeze. Now, there were still people selling and buying houses, just not as many, but it was like the market shut down. Not many people were putting their houses on the market. Not many people were in the market to buy because they were waiting for the lower interest rates. That takes me right into what's going on and what I think is gonna happen in the first quarter of 2024. I saw this really cool. Uh, it was like a, a Instagram reel of all these golf balls, and I and I'm gonna have I'm gonna put that into this video. But see all these golf balls, and it shows how many golf balls at eight percent, and then how many golf balls at seven, and then how many at six, and how many at five. I think, and it's a great analogy for what's going on in our market. A term that's really important is pent up demand. Just because somebody didn't buy or sell a house doesn't mean that they didn't need to. It meant that they were trying to optimize their experience and their outcome. As the interest rates go down, now I've heard they could go down to 5%, but they've already gone down like a percent, a percent and a quarter, maybe in a percent and a half by, by now from their peak, which is why these numbers have changed. But as they continue to go down, there's a number that people have and it's like, okay, well, when they hit six, I'm gonna get back in. And then some people are like, when they hit five and a half, we're gonna get back in. Well, here's my opinion on that is that the more you, the longer you wait to get back in the market, the more competition you're gonna have and the more chaos. I know that experience is important. I know that netting the most money and getting the best outcome is important too. So there's never a time that you're obligated when working with our team to sign anything or to work with us at that moment. So if you wanna have a conversation about your area, about your specific neighborhood, about your specific house and what it would sell for in today's market, please reach out. Now, I'm also gonna put a link in the description of this automated tool that we use now. It's very intuitive and it, it will give you um, updated updates on your market and on your house and on your specific neighborhood monthly. Click the link or give me a call or give someone from my team a call and we'll be happy to come out, whether it's uh, coming out to tell you what type of improvements to make or what not to make. We'll give you an equity report and show you exactly how much you could plan on netting in today's market, or we'd come out and just have coffee. So hope you found this video valuable. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, maybe say something negative in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if there's ever anything I can do, reach out, because I'll do it. Thanks for watching.